Welcome back, knights, to Poseidon H2O's Follow New Vegas Let's Play. Today, we are going to murder some powder gangers and steal from Trudy. We'll start with the stealing from Trudy part. All we gotta do is go to her house and we will get a Chinese... Oh, what's that book called? It's Chinese Spec Ops, I think. Uh, it's a stealth skill book. We'll find out in a sec what it's called. Just come on up here to Trudy's house. It's uh, nothing in the mailbox, apparently. Head on inside, and it should be just on a shelf sitting hey. there. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but we'll take a look. Hey, there's a friend we... Uh, I think that was the same lady we saved before. Uh, I don't think it's in here. Oh, here we go. It's got to be over here. Yeah, there it is. Chinese Army Spec Ops Training Manual. We'll grab that and make sure we don't get caught taking it, though. And then we will head back outside and read it. Should give us three more stealth. Or sneak, whatever they call it in this. Yeah, sneak. I always forget. They change stuff all the time in these games. I remember there used to be a lot more skills. I miss the small guns and big guns being two different things. But... I mean, I guess I got energy weapons still, so that's something. Now we just head on over to the saloon and <laughs> check our knife. It's still there. I'm just, I don't know why I did that. Oh, come on. I clicked already. Open the door. What the hell? I guess I wasn't in the right spot. Uh, anyway, we're going to go in here and we should see a fight happening. Well, an argument. Sonny and Cheyenne are okay. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? Whoa, now. Keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Yeah, you tell him, Trudy. What the hell is your problem? You, you fucking bitch. Get out of my store. I'm sorry, Trudy. I know it's not my store, but I thought I could help. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hey, uh, what was that argument Looks about? like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is he? Let me talk he to this guy. The abandoned gas station up the hill. Why don't we just murder Joe Cobb? You mean murder him? Yeah. That's not our way. Oh. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Yeah, but we could murder him. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Well, I'll go Personally, make sure he does then. he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. What the heck are powder gangers? gangers? Really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. <laughs> you think it would be? It sounds like a solid ago. idea. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right, well. Maybe I just want to uh, talk about something else. Got a special discount for you. Oh, That's sweet. That's what you've done for us. You're a real nice lady, Trudy. Let's see here. Don't need any... Guns. I don't think she has anything good. Let's see. Maybe the coal is okay, but I'm not going to pay for it. It's, you can find it everywhere. What do we got here? Yeah, there we go. We sell that. Grave robbed pistol. Don't need that either. Uh, oh yeah. We don't need that. Yeah, no, we don't need any ammo because I won't be using it, so... Might as well get what we can. Oh Thanks. shit, I sold that for a loss. I didn't realize. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Ooh, a bigger discount? Of course, discount? helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. I don't care. I got a lot of friends out there, too. So if I help Ringo, Good Springs will like me more? What if I help the powder gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. 
I probably won't do that then. See you later, Troopster. Hmm, extra discount. I'm gonna kill some people for that. Let's go find this Ringo character. Hope he doesn't have a mop top. Start drumming away. Singing crappy songs that apparently everybody loves. Look, I don't really like the Beatles, okay? They got a few good songs and that's it. I can see why a lot of people like them, I guess. It's kind of that bubblegum, feel-good pop crap, but that's just not my style. Revolutions of Solitude, no. That's a... Yeah, I'll listen to that one every time it comes on. There's not many like that from the Beatles, though. That I find, anyway. Anyway, what do we got here? Oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Take all those. Come in here. Let's see what... That's close Whoa, enough. whoa, put the gun down, Who sir. And what do you want with me? I am not your enemy. Sorry about the gun. Oh, no you just problem. Caught me off guard, that's all. Better you safe than sorry. A bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? No, thank you. you. Know play? I am terrible at that game. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Why not? What are you going to do about the powder gun? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Well, lucky I'm here to help. I got this knife I found. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. That's what you say. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... You realize I got shot in the head and just walked it off, right? Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yeah, with a name like that, I don't doubt it. Wink, wink. Let's see what this guy's got. It's a freaking low lockpick. I'll have to get that up later. Nice. Ooh, fancy lads. Whoops. That's mine. Yeah, well, you can have it. I don't even need bullets. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, let's see. Oh, sorry about taking your bullets there, guy. I didn't mean to. I think if you look around here, you can find stuff to make something. But I don't remember what, and I don't remember a lot of the... I don't remember a lot of the recipes, so... Right. Just... Hey, all oh, right, doctor's bag. Now when I get crippled throwing dynamite at myself, which will happen, I can, uh, I can fix myself. Okay. Let's go see Sunny. She should be at the saloon. I think that's where she always is. Ah, uh, actually no. She goes to somebody's house later. Oh, I guess those will be stealing. I won't take those. Guy must be working hard to grow them. He's still gardening, and it's... I don't even know what time it is. Middle of the night? I don't know. It looks like the sun's just going down. Well, here's hoping Sunny will help without having to pass the check. I think most people take speech at the start to help with this, but I never bothered this time. Evening. It's Trudy. I don't need to talk to her. Yet. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, just to murder some people. Hey, you want in on some Say murder? Say no more. I'm in. That's my girl. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. That's what I've been trying However, to tell people. Between you, me, and Ringo, I mean, I didn't exactly say it. Force to be reckoned with. Speak for yourself. A lot of people yourself. around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. Easy Pete, you are my new best friend. To Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. A silver tongue would help. 
convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. She she telling me I I should uh, you know have some fun with Trudy. I mean I'm not opposed to that, but I don't think I think she's probably talking about a speech check, and I definitely don't have that. Hey, there's Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I need as many explosives as you can carry. All of the explosives. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it? Yeah, then probably. Leave it buried. Why do you care? That way. I am familiar with the care and handling of explosives, sir. I took a university extension course on the subject. Uh huh. Guess you know what you're doing. <laughs> I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Little does he know, I don't think there are any universities left. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I uh, got my gun right here. See you later, Easy Pete. Ah, oh, it's just a take her easy, Easy Pete. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's go see if we can get this armor. I don't think we can, because this guy's a cheap asshole. I never did like Chet. I think it's because he doesn't like helping out the town unless you fucking really you looking to grind buy some him. Supplies? Hey, we're about to fight the Powder Gangers. You got anything for us? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. He does have a point. Hey, come on, guy. Help? Question mark? Look, you're bringing Aww. this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Yeah, I probably could. But you know what? I think we can handle it without you. Take it See you later, now. dick cheese. I'm telling everybody that you touch me inappropriately, Chen. Okay, I guess we'll see if Doc Mitchell's any more of a help. I know if you have high enough medicine, he gives you extra supplies. I don't know what he gives you if you don't. Guess we're about to find out. Alright. Hey, I never checked this shelf before. Oh, sweet. I wish I would have. I mean, I haven't needed it yet. I guess it doesn't really freaking matter, but... It was good to have some extra stim packs. Oh, there's some knife in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, god damn it. They could have taken that from the start. But that's okay. We got Chance's knife now. We don't need that crappy one. What was that? Oh, medical brace. Uh, well, I guess I know where one is if I need it. Oh. Thought that was another item. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Now fix me up. I'm dying. Don't look like nothing too serious. Let me patch you up. All right. Whoa, fifty bucks. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked still. it. Oh well. I'll probably make more than that after Ringo pays me. Where are you going, Doc? I need to talk to you. How are you holding up? Pretty darn well, actually. Thanks for the heal. We're gonna kill those powder gangers. Can you give us something to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. You are a scholar and a gentleman, sir. Three? That's not bad. Oh, see you later, Doc. Gotta go you get my care. murder on. I'll try not to die. My trusty knife that Easy Pete seems to call a gun. Easy Pete's a little crazy, though. But he's just the right kind of crazy. Alright. Let's go. And... Looks like we just gotta talk to Trudy. Everyone else... We either can't pass the check, or we've already talked to them. Let's see, she might be over at the saloon here. Oh. Wait a minute. No, that was Chet's thing I think we were chasing. Yeah, so if that's Chet, then this one must be Trudy. Okay. 
I guess she's at her house. Could have could have just went up here and stole from her right from when she was home. Probably would have been harder to do though. She probably would have been watching us. Trudy, my best friend. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? You're damn right. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yes, ma'am. Oh shit, I can't spell it. pass the speech check. Uh oh, you know what? I know what to do. Yeah, I'll see you later, Trudy. Right, let's put sneak up to twenty-five. Let's get uh Melee weapons, put it to 40. And... Hmm. Lockpick, yeah. Yeah. So we can open locks later. Um... That's a pretty good one. And I don't think I'm taking any of the other ones right now. I could do intense training, but I don't... No, I'm gonna go with Swift Learner. That should work out. Oh, hey, True, do you remember 10 seconds ago when I didn't have a plan? I have Feel a plan now. I can take care of Yeah, so let's set up an ambush. We should use mines, but, I mean, I guess we could just all stand that in a circle. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. All right. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Oh, well, I should start a militia in real plan. life. We could stand to be a little we better fun. equipped. The general store probably has what we, we need. We probably just to get together and get drunk. In fact, screw the militia. Be careful out there. All right, see you later, Trudy. I wasn't paying attention to what she said. Doesn't really matter. All right. So let's go back to Ringo. See what he has to say about me saving his ass. Well, I mean, I guess he could still die. But it seems a lot less likely now. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a reloading bench and a workbench over there. If you're hanging around Good Springs for a while. And uh yeah, Mojave Wasteland box here. It just means if say if I go to Prim and I know I'm gonna be coming back here and I'm overweight in Prim. And I I can't remember where there's other ones, but I know there's one in Prim. Maybe in Novak, too. But if I know that I'm going to be overweight and I need to travel somewhere, I can put a bunch of stuff in the box and then send it to Good Springs or from Good Springs to Prim or Novak, wherever. And then you can just pick the same stuff up in the box. I don't think it costs anything. I don't really use it. It was kind of a neat idea, but they didn't put it in enough places, I don't think. If they had them spread out more, I think it would have been a, would have been a fun little system to use. I'm just going to wait here until morning, just because I don't think you guys want to see me fumbling around in the dark. I mean, it seems to get pretty hard to see. Especially, I got a little glare this morning on my screen, so it's even worse. Nope, the light was already on. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Of course she did. She's well, a nice I guess girl. That means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Nope, let's get murdering. All right, I'm ready. Woo! I hope. Yeah, you better Time hope. to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. How convenient. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. Sounds like they should have brought six more. I'm ready. Oh, You'd better Easy be Pete ready too. The dynamite. Hell yeah, there's Easy Pete. Supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. Don't worry. I'll be set up near the store. I'll blow everybody up Let's for you. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right. Let's do this. I think I've already got a plan on how to start this fight. Doesn't start with my knife, though. I thought hopping was faster. It didn't seem like it was. Anyway. Let's get rid of that knife. Get, some, get the fireworks out. I mean, I did record this on the 4th of July, so <laughs> I guess it's appropriate for my friends down south. 
Get him, boys. Hey, Joe Cobb, catch. Oh, I missed. Oh, still got him. Oh, shit. I'm going to get my knife back out. Yeah. That's what you get. Oh, somebody blasted that dude. Good. Oh, I got this guy. Oh, good. I wasn't too far. I thought I was. Hey. You've been disarmed. Oh, lame. What do you mean, murderer? You're the guys who came to kill everybody. Oh, looks like somebody killed him. I thought there was another guy down there, but I guess not. Now, where is Joe Cobb's dead ass? He's got the best stuff to sell. Hmm. Um. Where the fuck did he go? Was that Ringo? Yeah, time to get paid. I owe you a huge favor for this. Hundred bucks. Here, nice. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand oh, once I explain. You're it. gonna get fired. You're welcome. Oh wait, didn't I hear something I about did have what was left not being able to pay? Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. Well, good thing you changed I your mind, because uh, so look me up at the Crimson I didn't even use my pool cue. New Vegas, if you ever visit. Yeah, all right. That's my least favorite loading screen, so you better pay up when I get there. You dick. Now, where is Joe Cobb? I don't know why. Let's see, get some healing going here. Uh, drink some water. And drink, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Now, where the fuck is Joe Cobb? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I almost ran right past him. Let's take. Yeah, we'll take. Every, oh, sweet! He's got a stealth boy. Awesome. I guess that must be if you help the powder gangers, maybe. And this guy and his. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Looks like he's some like old school, totally like I don't know, flamboyant gay guy or something. But you know what? I think I'm just gonna grab all their stuff and sell it. I think I'll just end the video here. Uh, remember to come back to watch next time when we travel to Prim. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you click that big red subscribe button. If you like Twitter and you want to follow us on there, make sure you click that little blue button. Or if you want to go to our webpage, you can click on the URL below. Also make sure to like and share this video with your friends. And feel free to leave a comment as we love hearing from you guys and we'll answer you back as soon as we can. Until next time, keep those shields up.